Hey, hey friends, this is Allie from Allie Scraps, and I'm going to show you how to make this page in your journaling Bible with only digital elements, Canva, and clear sticker paper. So let's get started and create this tip in in Canva. Okay, so we're going to go to create a design, and since I've measured my uh, sidebar space on my Bible, I'm going to just create an like a new custom size because it's two by seven, or that's the size that I want um, it to fit in. So then we're going to go to oh, two by seven inches, two inches by seven inches. And we're going to create a design. So we are going to, we have our long and skinny little page um and i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and i'm going to do a couple of these just so i have some ready and i can have multiple ones on a page and then i'm going to just zoom in on this and probably won't be able to see the whole thing but you can see how that looks so it's going to be kind of tiny but we can work with that so i'm going to go over here and find the kit that I'm using and I'm using the again the smitten kit from Tracy Reed designs let's go to projects and we're going to search smitten we have smitten from Tracy Reed designs and I'm going to start with the alphas and I have the blue and teal alphas and you can see it over here I can all like all the letters that I have. So they look like they're different sizes, but they are all the same size. So I'm going to just start laying out how I want this to look when I print it out. Um, and I'm going to do the letters right here so that I don't have to use alphas or anything like that um, physically. So um, I'm going to say it's going to be greatest. And I'm going to speed this up while I place them and rearrange them so you don't have to watch all of that. Okay, now that I have my cute little like tip in slash sidebar design um, set, I'm going to download it. So I go up here to share and then I'm going to download, hit download, and I'm going to save it as a transparent background and just as a PNG, but I'm going to bump up the size quite a bit um, just so the quality is better. So I'm going to download this to my desktop and then I'm going to upload it again to my Canva so I can then lay it out on an eight and a half by 11 so that I can easily print it on my clear sticker paper. 
Okay, so now I'm going to create that eight and a half by 11 document. Um, and I'm just going to go here, we'll do a custom size and it's number change pixels, so inches. The width is gonna be 11, height is eight and a half, just so it can be that, that horizontal. And we're going to create new design. So now remember, this is going to be that eight and a half by 11. So that's very easily printed on the sticker paper that I have, the clear sticker paper. You can print this on anything you want. Remember if it's like can, uh, it's a cardstock or anything, um, it will not be clear like the clear sticker paper, but that is okay. So we're gonna name this Smitten Clear Sticker. And then I'm gonna go over here to my projects and folders because that's where I have the smitten stuff and the images here, that's what I just designed and uploaded. So it's a little bit smaller. So that might be perfect. So you can actually just drop it there. Remember it was two, it was two inches, which is right about there. Um, by seven inches. So let's make sure this is correct. You can kind of see over here our rulers. So I'm going to drag this over, a little bit, give myself a little bit of a margin. And then it was seven inches. So yeah, that's right about the size that we need. So it might be, it might be printing a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I want to give myself a little bit of margin. So there's the tip in that we have. Um, and then of course, if you do multiple ones, you can lay it out here and then print them all at once. Um, as you saw, like I did a couple page or like I had a couple pages ready for this, um, for the smitten kit, I'll probably just lay this out and, um, add more elements to the page so that they can print on the clear sticker paper. So they can either do another page or. So we'll do two of these just in case I mess one up when I cut it out. Um, and then, so let's just put some different elements on the page so that when I print them, I can even use them for other projects. I just have clear sticker paper ready to go. And that's what I usually like to do is um, kind of prep for multiple projects when I'm printing. That way um, <laughs> I don't have to waste any sticker paper just with one project. So let's do this. Couple XOs. Put these down here. And these are fun because you can like resize them as well. But I'm going to leave myself a little bit of margin so that nothing prints off the page. The other fun thing to do with clear sticker paper is take some of these um, really artsy elements that Tracy has and they'll print clear so it looks like you painted that directly on the paper, which I really like that look. So let's actually move this guy down, make him a little bit smaller. And make this one a little bit bigger. The other fun thing to do is take some of these, um, so this would be really fun on there. Um, run out of room though. Um, take some of the like washi strips or where are they? Um, or like the, so washi strips are like the tape here because then it really does look like washi, like clear washi on the page, but you didn't have to go out and buy the washi. You just print it on first sticker paper. Okay. One more here. There we go. Some of that might print off the edge a little bit, but I, I think we're going to be okay. We got a little bit mar more margin up here. I'm going to just select all of this and then notch it up just a little bit. So very similar to like designing in Photoshop or a similar program there, but Canva is free, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share and then I'm going to download again, but then this one I'm going to save as a PDF just because I found a oh, PDF print, not PDF standard, um, PDF print. I'm going to bump up the quality all the way. Um, I'm going to make it CMYK for printing. 
Um, I'm going to flatten the PDF and we're going to go from there. And then I will put that on my home printer, on my clear sticker paper, and then we will, I'll meet you back at my table and we can put this all together. Okay, so I'm going to do, of course, the classic verse of, so now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love from 1 Corinthians. Um, and this is just my Crossway Bible, um, ESV, like journaling Bible. I have tons of these and just, you can kind of see some of the things I've done. So this one, we're just going to do like a really, really basic, like just sticker. So... I've printed off what we just designed in Canva on clear sticker paper, and you can see that it's just about the right width. You can see that, um, but it's a little short just because there was a little bit more I could add, which is why I did some of these extras here, and we're going to layer some of those on the bottom. So I'm going to cut this out and I don't have to be really, really exact with it because it's clear sticker paper and it's really easy. Um, it's kind of forgiving as far as putting stuff down, especially on this really thin, um, like the journaling Bible paper. It's really nice, really thin. Um, it, it's very forgiving. So I'm going to cut this out and kind of lay it out and show you how I do that while I sped it up. Um, and then we'll come back and talk about some other things that you can do with it. So again, I printed two of these just in case I mess up or cut or in case I mess up, which is not unusual for me. So um, you can also see just some details, like this texture printed really nicely. And so that's gonna look really nice in the Bible. Um, I printed these just if I wanted to layer and I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet or not. Um, it might go off like the side or like the, the corner down here, um, but we will see. So I'm going to print and lay this out and put on some music.
So there it is, the finished page using only clear sticker paper and one little strip of washi just because I wanted to add those hearts and kind of bring that all together. You can kind of see the layers. It looks like you actually stamped on there. I love it. Um, and so I did want to add this layer over here um, of just that extra heart. I might, might outline that heart just in there so it pops a little bit more. Um, but this is overall the finished page so again everything is printed on clear sticker paper except for that one little strip of washi and it just looks awesome um there are some that cover the words just a little bit and there you can kind of see just barely is there that little seam that you can't really even see you know when you're actually just look, looking at it like this um but it actually looks like i spent a lot of time like you know layering and all of that and it was just really easy clear sticker paper especially once we did all of that in canva so let me know if you have any questions about using clear sticker paper or using canva below and i would love to help you out thanks so much friends bye, -bye.